Come here. Come here. Say good morning, Chris and Larry family. Morning. What are we doing? Making salsa verde. Chili verde. Chili verde. And what's chili verde? I don't know. <laughs> what is in chili verde? Pork, jalapenos, tomatillos. That's all I know. Pork, jalapenos, tomatillos. We got some cilantro that's going in here. No, no not jalapenos. Half the chili. Well, we're gonna we're gonna do both. Oh, okay. Um. But it's made with big green chilies, Anaheim chilies, or Hatch green chilies. Um, it's made with tomatillos. Tomatillos are Mexican husk tomatoes. Mm -hmm. um, they are not a tomato. They are a lot different, so they're not a green tomato. Um, but we're gonna get working on this, and this is for Shelby's birthday dinner tonight. And this is awesome because it is not, it is a, you throw it in the crock pot once you get everything going and let the meat just simmer down and cook there. We're gonna brown the meat, we're gonna roast the vegetables, but otherwise this is a very fast, easy meal. And it'll last, it'll do our whole family or it'll do multiple meals for us. So let's get started. Okay, for those who've never seen a tomatillo before, these are what call, are called Mexican husk tomatoes or tomatillos. And they are, they have a, a paper, a paper husk that is uh grows on them so when you go out like in into the garden um there'll be a husk and you you have to feel you kind of squeeze the husk to see how big the fruit is on the inside because you can't see it so what we're going to do is go through and de-husk all these tomatillos we're gonna what are you doing behind me oh okay we're going to cut them into quarters and throw them in the oven at 400 degrees, 450 degrees to get them um, a little toasted. We want these to be considered roasted, so we're going to make them uh, make them all sorts of, of roasty. Now, you can get tomatillos or husk tomatoes in your Mexican food section of your grocery store, in the Mexican food produce section. Ours sells cilantro and green onions and... Uh, the tomatillos and all the different types of chilies in there along with um, like jicama and things like that. Those are all in that section. So I'm gonna go ahead and husk all of these and quarter them. Rowan, what are you working on? The meat. And what are you gonna do? Cube it. You're gonna, yeah, get it down to little, little cubes. So what we've got here is just a butt roast. I didn't have time to defrost one um, of our own pigs, so we just picked one up for the family. So she's gonna gonna get this down into cubes, yes? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna throw it in a cast iron with some olive oil. Okay, so we've quartered about, we did a four pound. We're doubling this recipe for our family because it's it's everyone in the family. So we've quartered the tomatillos after husking them, and this is what they look like. As you can see, they are not a tomato. They are definitely a different texture. They're actually, the, the green is sticky where the husks are covering them. So you have to wash your hands a lot when you're cutting these guys. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these along with, um, the recipe that I have calls for a yellow onion but, or a white onion. We're gonna use a red onion because that's what I have. And some garlic that we're gonna throw in here and all of this is gonna be going into the sauce along with, we're gonna do five of these chilies and we're gonna stuff the rest of them that I purchased. Now, I do not have any chilies that are of size growing in the garden, but we have um, six tomatillo plants um, that should be pretty ripe here in about two or three weeks. And then we'll have, we'll actually, can our sauce as well. Okay, so the tomatillos have been in the oven for about five or six minutes now, roasting at 450 degrees. We've got five chilies that we're gonna be putting in. Um, this is peeled garlic and then two large onions. Now, like I said, we're making, we double up our recipes, but I will post a recipe below that our kind of base is off of. We've been making this for years though, so we don't follow a lot of recipes, but I will, I will get um, a recipe posted as well. Okay, so you've accomplished what? Cutting the entire chunk of meat. All she has left is bits fat. of fat Lot, that lots of fat. we're going to cut through still. Um, yeah. We browned up We browned up all of the meat so far, um, and it fills up the crock pot with, I guess there's a few pieces in here that she's cutting, but everything else is all browned up. We added one box 
of chicken broth. Now you can use homemade chicken broth, you can use bouillon and make your own. You can do all sorts of different things. We just happen to have this on hand, so we're using this. Um, and what's gonna happen next is we're gonna get the chilies and tomatillos out of the oven. They have been in a 450 degree oven for about 25 minutes or so right now. We're gonna put those through the food processor and we're gonna make a sauce. One thing to know about your vegetables that you put in, the tomatillos, the chilies, the onions, you can barbecue grill those as well. They do not have to be done in the oven. If you're cooking outside, you can go ahead and do that. So you can see they've, they've browned up. These are the tomatillos. So we have a lot of tomatillos here. We have about five pounds of tomatillos, but we've gone ahead and browned those up. They've been in for about 25 minutes or so. They're really hot. They smell just delicious. But these will be going into the food processor to make a sauce. What are you doing? Uh, food processing tomatillos. All right, so once you pull your green onions out of the oven, like I said, these make them for about 25 minutes, the skin will brown and separate, and you want to pull all that skin off because the skin is hard to eat, um, and it'll give it the flavor on the inside still. So you're going to pull all of the skin off and put these through the food processor as well. Now when you peel your chilies, you want to make sure that you pull the stem out. The stem, if they're cooked all the way, will pop right out and the seeds come along with it. So the seeds are what carry a lot of the heat. So if you don't want hot, you need to make sure you pull that in or out. Okay, last but not least, we chopped up, roughly chopped up um, green onions and stuck those in here. Now this can be served as a soup, but as it cooks down, it will thicken up a bit and you can serve it inside tortillas as well. You are you ready? Uh, yes. Are you ready to eat? Yes. You have to wait four hours now. Okay. So this is gonna cook on high for? Four hours. Four hours in the crock pot. Yeah. Say bye for now. Bye. For now.